it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today, I am going to respond to some of your comments and questions. I got my laptop in front of me. I think it's a great time to do that. I haven't done that for a while, responding to your comments video. So we're gonna do that. This is the week that I shared another uh, new George Michael channeling session. I just did it, just shared it today. Today's Monday. If you're interested in Above Life Channel and knowing when the videos come out, they come out on Mondays and now also Wednesdays is another day that I've been trying to do videos as well. But Mondays by nine o'clock central time, 9 a.m. central time, you can find the videos. And I'm gonna ask you to take a moment to subscribe. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Um, go ahead and click on that red subscribe bar. And if you wanna get notification of when a new video comes up in case I, I post other videos from time to time, and you don't wanna miss them, click on the, the notification bell. And even if you've already done that before, it's a good idea to maybe redo it, do it again, because YouTube has kind of monkeyed with some of that, messed around with some of that stuff. So make sure you are subscribed and make sure you get those notifications. So um, I don't want you to miss them, okay? So make sure you do that. All right, so let's get started. Let's get this party started. So some of the questions or some of the comments that are gonna be here right now are going to be comments that are related to um, let's see, I related to George Michael's recent video that I just posted. So let's see what you guys have to say. Kathy shares, oh, what a sweet man, incredible voice. And how can one not dance when wake me up before you go, go starts playing happiest song ever. Another one from Karen says, love George Michael. We need inspiration in light of our current world events right now. Paraphrasing that just so I can make sure the comment is good for YouTube. Um, Dina says, I love George. I've been a fan for a very long time. He's such a wonderful empath. And yes, he is. He's such an empath. Even now in the afterlife, he is so caring and kind. Thank you, much appreciated. Uh, Jennifer says, I love George Michael and his music. I hope he's happy in the afterlife. He was a handsome and generous man who knew his talents. Interesting, yes, he did. I miss him so much. Mm -hmm. You, Jennifer, and many others as well. And let's see, Joseph makes a comment, um, but his comment is, I emailed you and I'm interested in paying for a session. <laughs> That's kind of an odd com <laughs> comment on a video. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yes, I, this is a good question though. Okay, Joseph, this is a good question. You guys all should know that if you're interested in having a private session with me, you can send an email request, but please go to my website first, abovelifechannel.com. I have a website, abovelifechannel.com. Check out my agreements tab that talks about how I do my work and what I do, what kind of sessions I offer. My sessions are listed under my services tab. Make sure you know that before you request a session with me. At this time, I'm focused on my psychic and life sessions. And so that means that a session is about focusing on you, and connecting to your spirit so we can inspire your spirit and get you up into some hope-filled energy connections with your angels and your healing helpers, so your spirit guides. Right now, at this time, I'm not doing mediumship sessions because there's just too much, there's too many requests for that, and it doesn't go deep enough in order to be able to really help people during this time. And so I'm focusing on my psychic and life coaching sessions. If you want to know more about those, again, those are posted at abovelifechannel.com under my services page. So make sure you check that out so you know what you're asking for, okay? I also have my current pricing is listed there as well. All right. All right. Thanks for the question. Next question by Irene. Irene says, question... How can you hear and repeat everything George Michael is saying, but you don't know who the woman was that was with him? Good point, Irene. This opens up a whole bunch of questions about psychic gifts and how do people connect to our psychic? Well, we connect in a lot of different ways. Not everybody who's psychic works in the same way. For me, I can speak for myself and I can share with you that when I connect, I get information in a multiple of ways. And it's a combination platter here. It's not just one way. I do not just hear spirit and repeat verbatim what they say. It's not like a dictation. It's more of a translation and a sharing of information. And also it comes in the form of energy, which is connected into the heart space. Above Life Channel is 
so focused on heartfelt energy. That's why you, Irene, and probably all of your friends here that are making comments and watching our video right now are all empathic, clairsentient, sensitive people because we connect in our heart. We get information energetically through feelings, through senses, through emotions, and so too do I. And when you utilize that as a psychic gift, it's called clairsentience. So I have it kind of amplified. I also have clairvoyance. So if you've been around the block at Above Life Channel, which may, I'm guessing maybe you're new because um, over the past two years, there's been lots of videos where I've talked about the different ways that I connect and communicate, but I will share it. I think it's great to share with you now because there's a lot of newcomers here at Above Life Channel. So clairvoyance is my most primary channel, which means I'm visual, I see. And I see as my go-to, my primary, my on target kind of, that's just my go-to. That's my go-to for psychicness because that's what I do. I see, I see spirit, yes, I see. And then the third thing I say would be clear audience, which is hearing spirit. And I do hear spirit, but I usually hear like phrases. Um, I can have a dialogue or a conversation if it's a spirit that I'm really comfortable with. I know their energy really well and we have a relationship or rapport. And I don't mean relationship or rapport as in humans, like you and I as friends or that kind of a thing. I mean, spirit to spirit, energy to energy. Energy transformation, energy, how do I say this? Energy translation is a diff different kind of a, uh, oh, how do I explain this? Energy translated, translating energy is different. It's not a science. It's not, doesn't have an alphabet with words and everybody uses the same code. It's not like that. It's much more artistic. It's creative and co-creative. And so the information that I will use during one session might be clairsentient, feeling information, where I'm feeling the information, I'm converting that energy into the messages that are coming through because the messages come in as a feeling sensory energy story. Or I might be seeing things, which I described to you exactly what I see. And also hearing, when I hear stuff, I say, oh, he's saying this, he's saying that. I will use my own words often. Sometimes you will see me take on some characteristics of that person or speak in a way, have a, um, the way that I pace my words or, or the way that I, I speak has a rhythm perhaps that might be like that person because I'm just in tuning into their energy and that's why that happens. So these are great questions. One of the best ways, Irene, I think, to understand psychic gifts and how I might be doing lots of different things in one session and I don't just rely on one thing is, be, is to think about things in terms of learning. So when we go through school, we learn in lots of different ways. Some people are very visual and like to see things, um, watch a video, see the teacher write words on the board, see like by reading something, seeing pictures, that kind of a thing. Other people might learn better by actually having the experience and going on a field trip instead of just watching somebody do an experiment. You know, they might actually need to do an experiment or go visit that particular museum to see the art, that kind of a thing. So we learn in different ways. There's auditory learning also where you listen and then you take the notes and then you feel the connection. So there's a lot of different ways that we learn. And so in the same way, that's just the communication, ways of communication, modes of communication. And that's the same way kind of psychic work works. So for me, if you were watching the video, if in one part he was telling me something and then I couldn't get the woman's name, it's because I wasn't connected into the Claire Audience channel at that point. Simple as that. But that's an awesome question, so thank you for that. That was a great question, Irene. I'm gonna give you a thumbs up on that. All right, thanks for that. All right, then let's see. Oh, hey, Suzanne from Idaho. Thank you for giving of yourself and George. You are both kind souls, especially needed right now. Sending love and wellness to you and your family, Bridget. Much love. Okay, thank you for that. Oh, lots more sweetness stuff. Oh, here's another, okay, this is, this is another one that I think would be good. This one has a question, which I think you guys will appreciate me answering. And it comes from Sammy. Sammy says, God bless you and happy spring. Thank you, Sammy. Blessings back to you and happy spring as well. Hope you and your family are well. So far, so good. We are. 
can I request a person I would love for you to speak with? Yes, you can. <laughs> you can. So let me tell you, Sammy, how to do that. You and everybody else, if you are a viewer here at Above Life Channel and you want me to interview somebody, interview or have a cool conversation in the afterlife with one of your celebrities or somebody that is well known or famous, maybe a world leader, an influencer, or an athlete, because specifically, Sammy, I see that you are requesting an athlete. Very cool. I've done a couple of athletes so far. I actually have a playlist for athletes and sports figures, so check that out if you're interested. There's a couple of folks in there right now. And yes, you can go to the link. I'll put a link below to the You Choose the Channel video. I created an actual video for you guys to submit in a comment section there the name of the person you want to ch me to channel and five questions that you want me to ask that person and then leave a name, just your first name is fine, and a city or a state or a country that you're writing from because I want to know where you're from and I want to know your name so I can like talk to you in the video, okay? And so go to the You Choose the Channel video. That's how you do it. Simple as that. So thank you. And that's how I did the George Michael video because I asked you guys specifically, there were a couple of questions, but there, there were some requests to just do George, but if I don't have questions, I don't know to ask. I've already talked to George. George is lovely to have around, but he is not chatty. <laughs> so... I needed your help, so I asked, and you guys responded. So awesome for that, thank you. Let's see if I have a couple more. Let's check on time. Yeah, let me just see if I can respond to a couple more questions. Oh, here's a good one. Oh, here's a comment from Queen Blue Jay. Hello, Queen Blue Jay. And I'm guessing Queen Blue Jay is a Freddie fan because the response is to a connection meditation that I did with Freddie Mercury in the afterlife. I actually have a, a playlist for Freddie Mercury. If you're a fan, check out the playlist for Freddie. And I also created a new playlist for meditations or visualizations. I'm trying to do some guided meditation audios to help you connect with some of your favorite celebrities in the afterlife. So Freddie was one of those, and that was a couple weeks ago I just shared that one. And Queen Blue Jay says, this is the first time I've been able to feel Fred. It was giddy and then calm. Then I had a conversation with him. It was amazing. Yes, 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 yes. Queen Blue Jay, that's exactly what we're going for here. Awesome, you like made my day. You made my day because the whole point of Above Life Channel is for you to get your spirit inspired and to get filled with hope and know that you, you guys, you can do this. You can connect, you can channel. It's not some big exclusive club of people who are so psychic that they can just sit around and just do it, no problem. It's for all of us. It is for all of us. We are all spirit. There is no disconnection here except for what we perceive in our brain and the resistance that we have. And Queen Blue Jay, thank you so much for saying that this was an awesome communication for you because that's exactly why. I'm doing this channel. I want you guys to get to the point where you can do this because you can. I'm so tired of psychic people who are making it seem like us and them, like, oh, we're so special or, oh, we're so elite. And no, 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 no. You are totally able to connect and communicate. It happens differently. There's no one size fits all. There's no one way there's no one way here all right it's just about flow it's artistic expression and connection is beautiful and so thank you for sharing that wow okay i'm gushing i'm gushing okay all right all right let's see oh here's another here's another one let's see Ooh, a couple more comments here let's see there's some comments on some of the other videos. I've just recently created a bunch of playlists, so it'll be easier for you guys to find people because people have been having trouble with that. I'll get a lot of requests for the same person that I've already channeled like multiple times. So there's a few um, video uh, comments that you guys have made on some other videos like, thank you for M. Russell for commenting on the Amy Winehouse video. I do love her energy and there's two videos for her. I love her energy. I would be 
overjoyed to channel with her again. She is cool as heck. So if you really want me to channel her, you need to send some questions. Put some questions on the You Choose the Channel video and say, Amy Winehouse, please, and put some questions. I need questions. What do you want to know? What do you want to talk to her about? Okay, put that on the You Choose the Channel video. I'm going to link that up here in this particular um, description section here of this video. All right, then Natalie says, thank you. She responds to the Anna Nicole Smith video I've done. That was a while ago. I did an Anna Nicole Smith. And um, she says how much she loves her, that her spirit was beautiful. And she says, please do another video with her. Um, okay, if you want me to do another video with her, go to the You Choose the Channel video and, and put in her name and put five questions for me to ask her, okay? Because again, she is another one that her energy... I could easily, I shouldn't say easily, but I could channel her again for sure. There's more information I think there and there's, and, and she was not super difficult for me to connect with overall. Her energy is a little bit um, different, but it's not hard necessarily to connect with. So that was just my experience and might be different this next time. Sometimes it gets easier as I've channeled somebody more than once. It gets a little easier each time I get more comfortable with the energy that I'm plugging into or connecting into. Um, Tammy makes a comment on the River Phoenix video. Yes, I've channeled River Phoenix and it's tricky, you guys. That particular video, I actually have two, um, the first channeling and then a follow up to him. And I did his like earlier on in Above Life channel. And that's a tricky one because I get a lot of very strange comments, really strange stuff shows up in spam and gets caught by YouTube and flagged and all sorts of stuff. There's apparently a lot of people out there and conspiracy kind of theorists and things related to River Phoenix, so which is sad. It's so sad that his legacy is wrapped up in all that stuff. But um, but Tammy comments about River um, that he had too much of a burden on his shoulders, and um, she talks about something I must have shared related to his family that he would never talk about it out of respect. So that makes sense, and. Um, she's just saying how beautiful he was. So, so thank you. I want to give respect to the fans. I know you guys have very emotional connections to the celebrities that I channel and you know them deeper than I do from your human life experience. I, I only know how I connect with them in the afterlife. So I'm very aware of that, that there's a difference between the way you as a fan connect and the way I connect. So um, thank you for taking the time to share that. Also on the Kurt Cobain video, that's another real popular one. Again, I get some Sometimes I get some spam on that one too. I get some stuff that's flagged by YouTube and caught and some their filters and stuff because there's some interesting, again, I think it's the conspiracy theory kind of stuff. And um, there's no question that Kurt had a, a, a tragic ending of his life. And and um, so this person is just saying this song's all about, all about right. We miss you, Kurt. So that was a um, an interesting video to do. And so... Um, something that I really connected with was his death during my college years. So it's something that I remember, you know, I remember that. All right. So let's see. And somebody asking again, um, Meg and Zoe's mom, do you ever do readings? If so, how much? Yes, I do. Um, not traditional psychic readings in the sense of, hey, I'm going to tell you your future. I do not do predictions. And I also do not do private sessions to connect with celebrities unless you're family or close friends. And if you are family or close friends, I do sign NDAs and I do um, non-disclosure non agreements and things like that. Um, that's totally fine to me. It's not a big deal for me to do that. But if you're interested in my work, go ahead and check out abovelifechannel.com, the website. Check out the services. That tells you everything you need to know about my current rates and what my services are. I do psychic plus life sessions, which is a combination of psychic connection, connecting to your spiritual helpers, so specifically your angels and your guides and your higher self. So my work is all about inspiring your spirit so that you feel hopeful. And so because of that, I also add a life coaching component. So I have a a well-rounded holistic view of doing psychic work. So I don't give you answers, it's not my job. If you want that, I'm not your gal, I'm not. And as far as connecting just with the loved ones in the afterlife, right now I'm not currently doing mediumship only sessions because there's been a ton of requests for them. And I think it's because of what's going on in the world right now. I think it's just a redirect for people. I think it's digging up some old um, healing energy and some, some kind of collective sadness and 
I can't do my best work in just focusing on one person's loved one. I know that that's a really valuable service to offer at times, but I know that I can help more if I focus on the psychic and life coaching work part of my life. So it is a psychic session or a psychic reading, but it's not, I'm not going to give you answers. So if you really want a psychic that does that, that's not me. I feel like my job is to inspire you so that you can make choices for your life because I believe the future is not to be predicted, it's to be created. I'm not about you giving your power to me or anybody else. Okay. Okay, good questions, you guys. Good questions. All right. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here with me and hang out with me. Make sure if you have somebody you want me to channel, go ahead and put it in the comments of the You Choose the Channel video. Thank you so much for watching Above Life Channel on YouTube. If you're interested in some other work that I do, I have a vlogging channel called Fairy Grasshopper on YouTube. Fairy Grasshopper on YouTube. So I vlog about my psychic life and I talk about talk topics that are inspiring and spirit related or connected, life connected, very inspirational, motivational, but I also talk about real life stuff too as a psychic mom and things. And most importantly, probably the most popular thing on my Fairy Grasshopper channel is definitely the card readings. I use card decks to just do quick readings so that you can get inspired and recognize that you can do card readings for yourself. That's not, I don't use them in my psychic work, in my, in my sessions, but I think they're awesome tools for you to be able to use for yourself to get clarity and insight and inspiration to feel good. So I've been sharing a lot of card readings. So if you're interested in that, take a look at Fairy Grasshopper channel on YouTube. As always, you guys, I hope I've been helped to inspire your spirit as much as you've inspired mine. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, this is your life. It's your life after all. So live it. Just live it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.